here. Go to the oil field to rewrite. Remember to rebark at the ammo box. Yep. Thanks for reminding me. Cool. Let's see what we have. I don't really like radios in, in the game of Alan Wake. Let's go. Me get, <laughs> jumping over cactuses and getting stuck in real life. I wouldn't even eat in real life. I wouldn't be doing that anyway. Oh, thanks, good page. Let's grab it. Read it. Mr. is a twisted copy of me. Powerful and dangerous. But I know I can fight him. I don't think anybody else can. They don't understand what he is, what he represents, or that all the horrible things he does here are almost insignificant compared to what he will unleash on Earth given the chance. But I've survived the dark place. And it has taught me things. How to cope. How to stay sane when the world goes crazy. He's two steps ahead of me, but I can find him. And I believe I can stop him. Machine gun for the win. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Clear the oil field of enemies. Okay. I don't want to get too cocky or anything. But... All right, yeah, that was nice. <laughs> oh god, it was so crazy in the first one. Okay, we have a. Uh... run over here oh wait what did i see time to make some serious changes i just seen to the manuscript hey it says you can't i feel like i saw a flare okay f Oh no, it's saying check. Okay. Uh. Okay.
is it one? It was like it wasn't bad. <laughs> What's that noise? Oh. Oh no. What am I doing right now? Got it. I'm here. Just keep your head down. Right, as long as I got the set machine right here though. Okay. Look, they are literally forever yeah, jumping off noticed. of roofs. taken he said we're good so ah uh, there you are what the hell was that easy i got him you're safe i need you to tell me what you know about him the guy who looks like me he there was a there was a party in one of the rooms it, it was pretty wild i am um, i'm not sure which room it was in you didn't attend i no i wasn't there but it got way out of hand anyway i I heard that he went to the diner and there was a fight there or something. Maybe you could find out more from there. I, I, I got some keys that you could maybe use. You just happen to have the keys, huh? Fine. I'll take a look. Stay here. Like hell. I'm getting out of here as soon as you leave so I could close up this place and go home. Right? Emma, you really want to stay here in the light? Yeah, thanks for the advice, but I'm not sticking around. Just go already, okay? Are you okay? I guess. Thanks for the help. Were those the, what do you call them? The Taken? What are they? It's complicated. Short version, the darkness can take people over. That's why I had to destroy the oil derrick. Otherwise, they would have overrun the place. Wow, I didn't think you'd actually do it. I mean, I didn't think it'd work. That's crazy. Let me just try one more time at the risk of sounding like a broken record. It's bad out there. I don't want you hurt. You should stay put. Yeah, while well, you turn this place into an inferno, run around shooting things up and play some kind of weird games with your psycho evil twin. Don't get me wrong, you're, you're nice for a weirdo. I'm impressed as hell by all of this, but enough is enough. I seriously just want to get out of here, okay? Understood. <clears throat> All right, we are going to explore the diner. Hold on, let me just go ahead on it. This. Well, here you are, about to enjoy another cool Arizona night with me, Eddie Rodman, the host with the boast. Hey, any of you guys remember Old Gods of Asgard? <laughs> Man, I actually I saw do. this twice back in the 70s. I was just a kid then, but my dad... The only is old as you feel. All right. That's enough. <laughs> Let's go to the diner. Why am I always running into cactuses? Hmm. A pull 
poltergeist. Its existence is one of rage and hostility, and its very presence turns objects into deadly projectiles. Ooh. Already. Holy shit! Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nope, we're not playing these games. <sighs> there we go. <laughs> Y'all know how I do. I'm gonna get behind something. Ooh, look at that. Let's go get this. I'm always so happy to pick up flares or flare guns. They do just really help out with the fight. Explore the diner. Okay, hold on. The scene. Traces of violence. A callous midnight snack. A room key left carelessly behind. The man recognizes the enemy's handiwork. I think these are keys for the motel rooms. Hmm. Get those. Satellite and now this? That place might be involved. Okay. It's telling me explore the motel rooms. So. All right, let's go do that. question marks in that direction. Back to the motel rooms. Oh wait, hold on. Here we go. I just uh, noticed that my health was not um, full. Emma Sloan was a believer in a great many things, most of which were entirely fallacious. Fallacious. Emma Sloan, an innocent victim of his dark half. More collateral damage in the ongoing war. Damned by forces beyond her control as much as by Uh-oh. They will try to flank. Let's go on to <clears throat> let's go on this one. Uh nothing. Okay, I I guess I was just supposed to come in here. Faraby, dead, tortured, dressed in clothes that bore the name of a local observatory. 
A slim lead, but solid enough. It stirs something deep in his mind. He knows where to go now. The Observatory. Hot on the heels of the Herald of Darkness, the Champion of Light forges on to see the stars. Mount Tooth Observatory. Where did he get these names from? An observatory. A place for a man to witness the magnificence of the universe. But such insights are not what the Champion of Light is looking for. He has come to find a weapon. <laughs> 